Now that you've established the relationship and created an environment where your mentee feels comfortable sharing, you're ready to engage your mentee by helping them drill a bit deeper and guide them to improve and problem solve. But be careful, because sometimes your mentee just needs someone to listen. They want to vent, not solve anything. Other times your mentee will need someone to listen and to give them a bit of feedback, what we call acting as a sounding board. Letting your mentee use you as a sounding board means you can help them validate their choices or perhaps gently steer them in a different direction. But watch out, a sounding board is not an answer board. Mentors guide, mentors don't dictate. I think you should are words to avoid. As a sounding board, questions are an excellent tool to use when working with your student. Many of us self-describe as good communicators. We are confident speakers or presenters, or we write clear, concise emails. Often overlooked is the art of listening. Listening to your mentee is an incredibly powerful tool. Think about conversations you've had when you felt like you were being really heard. If you're like me, the people who really listen made me feel special, valued, and that my opinions mattered. Good news for us, it's easy to become a better listener. Listen when people are talking to you. No joke, listening requires you listening. It's more than half the battle. Make up your mind to listen and your listening skills will improve right away. Perhaps you're thinking, oh, it can't be that easy, can it? No, it's not. That's why we created this module with some tips and techniques that can be used to improve our listening skills. By the end of this module, you'll have tools to choose when talking to people that will improve your listening skills and let the person you're talking to feel confident they've been heard. Our first tool to become a better listener is pay attention. We have busy minds and it's hard to quiet them down so we can hear what is being said. We may still be thinking about the crazy traffic we endured on our way over. Sometimes I'm already thinking about what I'm going to say next and I would guess that happens to a lot of us. So how do we stop our minds from doing what they do best? Focus. Focus, focus. I start by having an internal conversation before a session begins. Remind yourself of your purpose for being here and let everything else go. And if you find yourself thinking about stuff in the meeting, push it out of your mind, not now, and focus. I find sitting quietly or standing quietly for a minute or two is useful. I slow down my breathing catch my breath, turn off my phone, and do some deep breathing exercises. Very relaxing. And then, showtime. Showtime indeed. So smile, make eye contact, nod your head. Reflecting is another useful tool. It means just what it sounds like. Reflecting back to the other person what we think we heard them say. We can also reflect back feelings. It's a chance to demonstrate empathy. Reflecting gives your mentee a chance to correct or confirm that what you've heard they want is what they wanted to communicate. So paraphrase the words and confirm the emotions expressed. When we approach conversations with open minds, we may need more information from our mentees to truly understand what they're telling us. Clarify what you think you heard by asking questions. Don't assume you know the answer, the reason, or the facts of what's being shared. Use open-ended questions to solicit more information. Yes-no questions to confirm your understanding. Can you tell me more about the conversation with you, you had with your friend? Always an open-ended question. It sounds like your conversation with your friend was very frustrating for you. Is that right? That's a yes or no question to confirm. When your mentee has finished sharing, stress on finished, take a minute to summarize everything to make sure you've heard all that they have shared. 
A tip you can use if you're not sure if your mentee has more to say or not is to wait a few seconds and then ask them, is there anything else you would like to share? Lots of tools to use in your role as a sounding board, but don't feel like you need to use all of them in every conversation. Use the ones that feel useful or right for that particular moment. Let's demonstrate. You may want to make notes during the role play, noting what tool you think we were using at different times. Hint, it will be on the quiz. Thank you.